Today we're talking about what vegetables you can grow in September for Zone 7. First up are the alliums, the queens and kings of September. Let's get to the queens first. Onions. It's going to disturb my wife. I like to say onions. Bulb onions we're going to put in where the pacing tomatoes go next year. 60 to 80 days, but you can let it over winter uh, or pull them as you go, whatever you want to do. And then the other queen would be bunching onions. We're using this product from Johnny Selected Seeds. This is Napchon F1. And we're going to put this in this red container here, about half of the package um, or less, and grow those now and let them mature. They also take about 60 days. You can harvest them, let them over winter. But when we come around the horn, late winter, April, we will plant a second set of bunching onion seeds. All right, the kings of September, garlic, leeks. Leeks take 105 days. Garlic takes seven to eight months if you want to do it right and get a nice harvest. Leeks, we're going to use half of these in the ground. Actually, we're going to put these, the first half is going to go in a 10 and a half gallon uh, container. The other half will go in in the spring, just like the bunching onions. These, these cloves will be planted. We're probably going to go about 32 this year. Uh, we grew close to 100 last year. So we got a nice stock on powder and we'll have fresh garlic till about December, January. Um, but some of them are being held back. If you want to see uh, how to plant these in the fall, check the video out. It'll be linked all over the place. Uh, just the main point here, wait until the end of September. You really have until November 1st to get your garlic in in zone seven. Um, but if you wait that month, just keep in mind, these take seven to eight months. So the later you wait to plant it, the later you'll have to wait to harvest it, which maybe that's not a problem for you. For us, we do a lot of a succession planting. So these we hope to get pulled out in June and then replace them with some summer crop. All right, after the queens and kings, we're getting on this list. It's going to work, right? Yes, because they're short day, you're going to beat the frost. This is where these items are right now in these grow bags on this mat beside our chicken coop. And it's radish, 25 to 30 days, get them in by September 15. Turnips, 55 to 60 days, get them in by September 15. Mustard greens, 30 to 40 days, September 15. And then we are running some leafy Asian brassicas, which are 25 to 45 days, depending on how large you want the leaves. And you really have no later than September 30th on that, because the average first frost, the 50-50 day around here this year, September, uh, excuse me, zone seven, Okay, we're right smack in the middle of the Piedmont, North Carolina. It's actually October 24. It's been bumped back recently. So you really have till the 30th to get microgreens in a container if that's what you want to grow. And then, of course, leaf lettuce. You know us if you watch the channel. Romaine and butter crunch. That is 45 to 50 days. And again, you want to get that seed down by September 15th. Okay, number three category. You got your queens and your kings, your alliums, then you have your short day, it's going to work. Then you have risky business, your brassicas. You could try to start this stuff by seed, but I recommend starts for all of this, and that's what we've done. You can see here what that consists of. Three Georgia collards, three Savoy cabbage, and three kale plants. You could also start, if you wanted to, some kohlrabi. Uh, that's 55 to 60 days by September 15. Um, all of this stuff, if you're going by seed, needs to be by the 15th of September, with the exception of collards. These items are frost hardy, but they need to be established. And keep in mind, October 24 is a 50-50 day. Your uh, first frost could be earlier, or you could get a hard freeze, say October 10 and you've got some young seedling brassicas out there, they may not make it through that because they're not well established yet. So I would get starts if you don't have them already. All right, number 12, 
the dirtiest of the dirty dozen. Napa cabbage, buy seed. I can't find any starts. I'm gonna run it. Um, these guys are not frost hardy, okay? So I'm really pushing it here. Uh, they're already started. I started them in late um, August and it it's gonna be close. Uh, if it looks like we're getting close to the frost date, we'll just start eating the leaves before the head forms. It's all you really can do. Uh, but we do like to take take that. <laughs> we do like to take chances around here and push limits. So what the heck, right? It's just seed. Now, one thing I want to mention uh, to people in Zone Seven: What about the flip side, right? The risk is that average frost date is incorrect this year, and you get an earlier frost and seedlings, and so <clears throat> they may not make it. Uh, but the flip side is you have a nice hot humid October. Uh, which is what happened here in our area of North Carolina. And we had slugs all over the place. We actually had one brassica make it out of 12, one. Uh, everything else was eaten alive. Um, so you might wanna keep some salt handy. Mm -hmm. Well, please subscribe if you're not already. And uh, don't forget this garlic video here if you want everything there is to know how to plant that garlic in zone seven, click that video and check it out. Peace, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one.